Hi, welcome to the vlogcast. I know that a lot of you are not really used to see me here vlogging around. But today marks the milestone of this channel. So I've decided why not try do something. So in this first episode of my vlogcast, I've decided to share my simple milestone of story on how I got here on YouTube. Um, what are the requirements and my struggle as a small content creator. And also I've published my first community post dito sa YouTube wherein I ask you guys kung ano ba yung topic na gusto niyong pag-usapan natin dito sa aking vlogcast series. And I've seen this post from Miss Maylin. She asked, how to choose the right career? And I can really understand her question because every one of us at some point in our lives, we question ourselves, tama ba yung career na tinatahak ko or yung pinili ko? And also, I know how frustrating it is so I see the connection of her concern dito sa ating topic ngayong araw and I can just really relate to her. Kaya naman, let's talk about it now. Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Before anything else, I will really appreciate if you will hit the subscribe button and share it with your friend. To be honest, matagal ko ng plano ang mag-podcast at mag-vlog at the same time. So, I come up with the idea of this, the vlogcast series. And I know that I don't want to do a cliche vlog contents, kaya medyo natatakot ako mag-try ng bago dito sa aking channel. But that time, I haven't got any confidence yet. And nag start pa lang naman ako. So, with that... I just slowly learned to grasp all the lessons that I've been learning around and also kung ano ba yung response ng community dito sa akin channel. So, on this first vlogcast episode, I want to also introduce myself properly so that you can get to know me and also understand kung ano ba yung lessons or yung story na sinashare ko dito. And also, why did I really pursue YouTube? And ano ba yung backstory ng journey ko. But before, kwento ko muna yung story ko, kung ano yung career ko, and what is my story as a small content creator. To be honest, right now, this channel, my channel, is in the process of changes and transition. I've started trying YouTube last April, this year, 2020, and this channel was formerly known as The Confession True Stories. Ang plans ko lang noon, a uh, simple podcast and talk about life but i've come up with the idea na ipasok ang tunay na storya ng mga tao na willing mag-share ng iba't ibang confessions nila wherein people will really relate or can learn from it um, so every saturday me alongside with my best friends we're doing podcast here actually sa aming facebook page and we are just blessed dahil to be honest personally i didn't expect na kahit pa paano may magpa-participate na small community na matatawag. And the story was that after our two-hour podcast, I will have to edit it and upload it here on my YouTube channel as well as the story per episode ng mga letter senders. So my story is that I graduated as communication arts major and ever since, I'm really into doing videography and photography. Kasi yun talaga yung kinalakihan ko. But few people know that I'm also into pursuing disc jockey or yung pagdi-DJ. Um, since I know that it will be hard for me personally to pursue disc jockey, I chose different path. So I got frustrated kung ano ba talaga yung gusto kong tahakin at ano nga ba talaga yung gusto kong career. Pero I make sure na nagagawa ko pa rin yung passion ko. So, at very young age, I've started to do small business like um, shooting weddings, birthdays, events. So, kahit pa paano nakatulong din yun sa experiences ko. Pero yung pagdi-DJ, ang never ko nagawa ng opportunity na itry. Especially in the industry. Kaya naisip ko, why not do podcast online since napaka-flexible din naman and I started here on my YouTube and my Facebook page. I tried YouTube because why not? Wala namang mamawala. I know that a lot of people are curious to try YouTube at isa ako doon. So, wala namang mawawala. 
So I used this platform para simulan yung podcast ko. To be honest, sa channel na to, I haven't got audience or big audience in particular na matatawag. And as a small content creator, it was very frustrating and challenging. It was really hard for me to work on the requirements here on YouTube, which I will discuss later. But, you know, what I didn't realize is that the small community that I've gathered here on my channel was enough na pala para maabot ko yung requirements dito sa YouTube. The requirements here on YouTube are quite hard to achieve, especially if you're starting small. But always remember that everything and everyone starts small. At isa ko dun. Uh, for you to become partner with YouTube, and if you want to do YouTube, there are two major requirements na kailangan yung ma-achieve. Number one is that you need to at least have 1,000 subscribers. Um, that requirement, medyo madali pa. Pero yung second requirement is yung 4,000 hours of watching, which is very hard. Dahil hours yung pinag-uusapan dito, hindi minutes. Um, a month, a week is not enough if you are small content creator para mamit agad yung requirements na yun. So, this two must be met on the year that you want to try YouTube. Paano ba yun? For example, like me, I've decided to start YouTube this year, 2020. And I've started April. This two must be achieved in the whole year. So, for like example, you've decided to start YouTube on this year. You need to achieve the requirements before 2020 ends. So, you only got 12 months para ma-achieve yung requirements dito sa YouTube. At medyo mahirap for a small content creator. Sa aking journey bilang small content creator, I've officially reached those requirements in 5 months. If you're going to try YouTube, importante na dapat alam mo kung ano yung mabibigay mo sa audience mo. Entertainment, life lesson, and such. Um, importante na meron silang matututunan kung ano yung mapapanood nila kahit small content creator ka pa lang. And one technique that I can share with you is that be consistent in uploading videos. Upload videos with more than 8 to 10 minutes. Dahil if your audience will really like your videos, ang laking hatak nito sa 4,000 hours watching na requirement dito sa YouTube. Be consistent in thinking of new ideas. I remember when I started my podcast, wala akong equipment talaga. Lahat ng gamit ko DIY lang. Pero I managed to do it so. Kaya kung gusto mo talagang itry, magagawan talaga ng paraan yan. The thing is, if you want it, do it now. So with my journey, ano nga ba yung lesson sa buhay ko na natutunan ko na masishare ko sa inyo? I'll boil it down to three lessons. Number one, know your passion. You just have to know what you really love. And naalala ko my personal story when I was like 11 or 12 years old. I had my first MP4 gadget sa daddy ko who happened to work abroad. First time ko makahawak ng camera noon na medyo malinaw na that time. And I remember that was the first time that I started shooting clips of videos. Tapos ini-edit ko pa yun sa Windows Movie Maker. And then laugh about the result kasi masaya at nakakatawa. And ever since that day, alam ko na yun na yung gusto kong gawin. Where I can really express myself and enjoy it. If you know what your passion is, the thing about it is that kahit anong platform, kahit anong career ang gusto mong i-pursue or way na gusto mong i-express or ilabas yung sarili mo, it will become easy for you to know or fit kung saan ka dapat. With me, yun yung naging technique ko sa buhay. Um, I just know what I love to do. I just know what where I can really excel. With me, I know that I can really use it here on my YouTube, so I applied it. Uh, a while ago, I mentioned that I wanted to do videography, photography, disc jockey. The thing is, napakalawak ng pangarap ko. But sometimes guys, the danger with it is that sa lawak ng pangarap natin, you know, to be honest, this will give us a lot of frustration and tough decision to make kung ano nga ba talaga yung gusto mong tahakin. So I'm just simply scared that I might disappoint my parents, my relatives, so the second lesson that I've learned is be practical. So practically speaking, I chose the road to accomplish my degree in college and got employed. I have to work and find job. And in fact, to be honest, I'm still working right now. See, I have prepared myself in the industry of competence because that's the reality. And that's the reality that we must all know pagdating sa pagtatrabaho. So I'm also working full-time right now. But the thing with our dreams is that we cannot 
get tired and be hopeless to achieve it. Sometimes you have to compromise your dream and face what the reality is telling you right now. I know and I love what my passion is, but I have to be very sure and secured also. So the third lesson that I wanted to share with you is do something while waiting. Today we will learn the lesson of waiting. Um, while being practical, I need to still slowly do something about achieving my dreams. Um, for at least that was my mindset. Sometimes in achieving our dreams, you really have to wait for it. Naalala ko yung isang quote from my favorite DJ. He said that our dreams, yung pangarap natin, ay parang installment. Um, unti-unti mabubuo, unti-unti huhulugan. Meanwhile, what you must do, you wait. So that's the lesson of waiting. Um, but there is one thing, the lesson that we must all know, is that to lower our expectations. Uh, napakahalaga talaga na dapat alam natin hanggang saan lang tayo pwede mag-expect as human. Um, dahil ang buhay ay puno pa rin ng disappointments and we as human can or could make a lot of mistakes. But this is what I truly believe that God has a purpose for everything. Um, even though it is in our failures or mistakes or in the lowest point of our lives, um, naniniwala ako that His plan will still prevail. With my channel, the confession will remain as one of the major program in this channel. But I have to change the branding name of the channel from the confession, true stories, to my personal blogcast, which named as Quiz JT. And a big shout out to Sir John Marwin who helped me with all my requirements here on YouTube. I hope that your support will remain. And, and that's it with our blogcast for today. I will really appreciate if you will hit and click the subscribe button and like it. Be part of our growing community here on YouTube. If you have a short confession and question, you can leave a message on my email and we will talk about it soon. God bless everyone and see you.